Hello and welcome to another Coffinated. I'm your roast host, Laura. And I'm your organically grown and locally sourced host, Joel. <laughs> uh, and otherwise, we're known as the Newly Deads. Yes. And this is our show where we talk about coffee. Yes. Uh, we have very cute mugs today. Joel got us matching ones uh, for, for the for the day. I don't remember where we got these. I want to say... They were on top of the cabinets. Very funny. But I think we got these at... But I cleaned them. <clears throat> Did, were they a gift? Cracker Barrel. I was right. Cracker She's Barrel. Smart. I remember where I get all of my things. She uh, where she got me. Yeah, I do. The interwebs. Um. So we, I always like to kind of start off a little bit about um what coffee we're having, and then um a little bit about the the roaster, right? Um, if I can find information uh, about them. But we are doing the fire department coffee um, today. Oh, I see why you did it. Because it's got a skull on it. Skull crushing espresso. Yeah, yeah but he's got... He's got um, and he's a uh, Day of the Dead looking kind like, of... Yeah, yeah, story. Yeah, with beans and... Oh, that's a very... That's a very clever design. Take a look at that. That is very clever. Um, these guys happen to be, these guys, uh, we have a dog. Yeah. We got two dogs that are generally friendly with each other, but it's a precarious situation. It's right a very now, so tight we're... spot. There we go. All right. <laughs> Damn, we're in a tight spot. So fire department coffee is local to the Rockford area. However, they are a very professional which all companies are but they're like what they it looks like they, they do worldwide so they're in um numbers of real re retailers across the united states um you can purchase it directly on their website they don't have a local place here where you can buy stuff they are just headquartered um in rockford their headquarters so, is just down the street from us actually yeah, and they've uh, actually, it looks like they've, and they're, they're roasting. It looks like it says roasted by, and then there's a different location here on Harrison Avenue. Hmm. So they must have two different locations. Like their main office is on Riverside, and then their um, roasting facility is, is somewhere else. They're also a veteran-owned business. We should have done this one yesterday, because yesterday actually was Veterans Day. Yeah, with the video um, on Post and Tell. Yeah, but um, that is uh, one of their, like, kind of main um things that they like to do with their uh here i wanted to find out um yeah they they always give a 15 percent discount to military and first responders they um okay here we go they give back so the fire department coffee gives back to their fellow firefighters and first responders who have been injured on the job mentally or physically or who are facing other serious health challenges they created the fire department coffee foundation mm -hmm. as a 501c3 charitable organization to help support our brothers and sisters in need the foundation will make sure that the money gets to those who need it the most um so uh i thought that was really neat about that so it's coffee for a cause when we're in trouble or danger, firefighters and other first responders race to our side without a second wasted and without a second thought. The Fire Department Coffee Foundation is a charitable organization who support firefighters and first responders who are sick or injured. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm sure that there's you know more information on their website as well, which is Fire Department Coffee. So Fire, D-E-P-T, coffee.com. You can find out information on there. Um but we're here to tell you about the coffee so yeah and if you are on their facebook page and you were watching their um, video content that they put out they recently did a mashup with the fire department chronicles which is a uh, uh, guy who makes short form videos of experiences he's had and in the fire department that are crazy uh there it's a very funny um channel so if you've not followed it, you oh, should check it out. Oh, right. But um, they did a little mashup together, and it was it was quite funny. Yeah. Got to support my bald brethren. Um, so th this one that we're doing is the uh, espresso, which I'm not very familiar with espresso myself. I'm a little um, scared because it's very dark. Uh, it's, it smells very full-bodied and dark. So I'm going to read the description of this. Um, it says the explosively bold taste of the skull crushing espresso will not only keep you alert, it will wake the dead. 
This Honduran coffee blend offers full-bodied and mind-blowing flavor. It's dark and smooth with hints of citrus and dark chocolate. Brew it in an espresso machine or a standard drip coffee maker. No matter your choice, you'll get the same amazing flavor in every cup. We are drinking a pot of this bad boy today. Yep, we don't have a, a, an espresso coffee maker, so we just use our standard you know, drip thing. Um, <clears throat> Did you put that much in? Did you go heavy-handed? I did it like I normally make coffee because if I if I if I if I change it, it's gonna be. It already smells like. I'm a little worried. Like it's gonna be. Um, Ingredients: coffee. Yeah, I, the only reason I'm saying I'm a little worried is simply because if you've watched this at all, you know that I am not a fan of of dark roasts, and espresso to me is like the epitome of a dark roast. Um, it's like you're gonna be like. All day, so. No, it's a, a light rose, right? Um, but anyway. yeah, here's our mugs. I'm gonna have to turn mine because I can't so, clink. Yeah, she, she can turn drink. it back after. Because I'm right-handed, wants, not left-handed. Right, clink before, before you, you drink. drink. I'm ambidextrous when it comes to things. I look in the bottom; you can already see that thickness. Ooh, yeah, that's a a strong brew there, Joel. <laughs> I taste my coffee. I don't uh, ever read the directions because I don't. I can't do the math in my head for whatever reason. I mean, it's confusing. When to it's me. espresso, you definitely got to read the instructions. I feel like, even though he went a little heavy-handed on the coffee, uh, and I'm blaming Joel for that, not uh, yeah, the fire department coffee because they weren't here brewing it. Um, it's very smooth, wouldn't you say? I can see colors. Wait, that can always see colors. No, it's it's sound. But no, I yeah, I see sound. Yeah, I was trying to be funny, and it came out that I wasn't funny. You're always funny. I don't mind it. It's definitely very, 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 very deep. Yes, um, I would be curious to see what other kinds they have because this is the only one that um, I've seen consistently. Yeah, this was um, carried in our local favorite shop, uh, Wolf Hollow. <laughs> we talk about it incessantly. So if you've watched the show, you already know about Wolf Hollow. Um, but yeah, they carry this specific one there, and that's why we bought it. Yeah, they they <clears> like. <throat> um, I think it, I think they probably were drawn not only to the fact that that's a uh, local company that um, supports veterans and all sorts of things, but mm -hmm. it has a skull on it. But yeah, they carry a lot of of not a lot, but they carry uh, several small locally um, done coffees and, and teas and things. So we didn't have any other choice in the matter so i'd be curious to try something other than just the espresso yeah and um, i think they sell it in, in several different stores in this area i know they do but um you know we could actually order it online if we wanted to and i think that they've got some sort of like rewards program also maybe if you order some things you can get some stuff don't quote me on that um laura says <laughs> i'm gonna yeah. put that right here uh question though are you getting the citrus or the dark chocolate is the question because anytime we do a show whether I never it's get snacky things or drinky things or whatever if it says it does xyz we try to see if we get xyz so, so when i think of the citrus part yes a little bit because like it is a little tart if that makes sense and I can kind of understand dark chocolate because dark chocolate has that same hit on your tongue. Like the mouthfeel? No, the, mm -hmm. like with the, the the bitterness of oh, it. Oh, yeah. Which... Yeah, the bitterness of the dark chocolate. Uh, you know, like bitter to me is always on the side of my tongue, kind of like, you know, you can taste it I feel a little like bit better. And All coffee has some sort of a chocolate tint to it. Yeah. Like a chocolatey sort of. Because chocolate and coffee, I feel like, are very, they're both beans. They're cousins. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know enough about it. Are um, they? Let's but, say yes. <laughs> it's got it's got what I would call as kind of an earthy tone. Like it feels very. I don't. I don't get earthy. Earth. I don't get earthy. Like, you know, just. I think earthy. Not in a bad way. No, I think way. earthy is a different spot in my face. Like on my tongue. Earthy is more like uh, shroomy, umami, kind of like. Those are some fun guys, but I mean. It, umami is like a 
a, a flavor. I know, but it's yeah. got a mushroomy kind of flavor. Yeah, it does a little bit. Um, well, I, I'm getting one thing. You're getting another. I don't know. I, I mean, I can, I can understand. So if I'm trying to break it down and say, like, okay, citrus is a tart kind of um, flavor, right? Stingy kind of tart flavor. And chocolate, dark chocolate is a bitter flavor. So are those the flavors that you're getting from it? Do you do you taste like a, a tart kind of, you know? Well, citrusy, I think of a bright note, like a, you know, like a... Like a it definitely has that. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, I, like I said, all coffee to me and, and, and at its base core has a chocolatey flavor. So I think that kind of cop out. It's gonna is gonna be in most, um, and it's such a it's such, got such a deep kind of thing going on that, um, I mean that part I think is just kind of comes with the territory. I'm not necessarily getting the citrus, but that doesn't make it that it's a bad thing. I think it's it's good. It's full bodied. It's rich. It's got a lot going for it and maybe that's user error but um i like it i just would like to try other ones too yeah i'd also like to try it um how it says it on the bag i, I mean you went for a full pot how many scoops do you use four typically and how much water is that do you know uh 12 Okay, so you're right on. So he didn't go over like heavy handed because that says two tablespoons. It says two tablespoons for six fluid ounces. Oof, man, I am feeling the coursing through my veins kind of thing now, which is really funny because like dark, I always think dark is, you know, has more caffeine in it or whatever. I, I know espresso, like I believe does have more. Typically, the light roasts are the ones that are... That have more caffeine. What, what we've been understood, anyway. What we've uh, been learned. What, we, what we've done been learned. But, um, yeah, this one... Typically, I think of espresso as being, like, high-octane This is also the coffee. first thing that I've put in my body today. So, I haven't had any other water, coffee. I haven't had any, like, food or anything like that. So, this could be why it's, like hitting that's, me so that's hard probably plus you know you haven't been up that <clears throat> long in the bigger picture yeah so it's just kind of hitting you Hit me square hard. in the brain right away yeah all right well all right. So, what would you give it out of 10 zombies mm -hmm. uh i would like to try others because i think i would like them a slightly better than this uh even though i like darky darky kind of roasts um but i'm going to give it a five and a half five and a half huh yeah um i don't dislike it and for me like saying i don't dislike a, a dark roast is pretty pretty remarkable um i would give it a six solid six yeah i would um if somebody served this to me i would still drink it yeah i just i think it's maybe that i'm just not a an espresso guy yeah, Perhaps. and that's not their fault. No. We bought espresso. Yeah. So I try to be fair and thinking in the bigger picture, like, is this the best espresso I've ever had? Probably not. But, like, how much espresso have I had, you know? That's why I'm, I'm like, I'd like to try other ones. I think it's pretty dang good, but. Other ones that are more in our wheelhouse would be. You know. I'm interested to see if you have tried this, and if so, comment down below. Or you can email us at contact at thenewlydeads.com. Email address right here on the screen. And you can also find us on Facebook mm -hmm. and at our website. At thenewlydeads.com. That's it. Yep. That's the whole website. Yeah. Uh, also, check out our other videos. And if you like what you see or you want to see other content like this, click the subscribe button to notif be notified as soon as it's available, as well as the like button. We don't generally do this, but why not? We've been thinking about it lately. Yep. And also, in December, you can catch us at the Krampus Market. The, I'll put the flyer up here so you can check out. It's got all the information on there. You can also go to the Wolf Hollow website, check the event page, and they'll have all of the upcoming events. And all the information should be in the, in the information box down below. Um, also, yes. if you are interested in the mission, we would, should start doing that if you haven't. <laughs> uh, if you're interested in the mission of Fire Department Coffee, go check them out. I think it's a pretty cool thing that they're doing. So, And if you like espresso, I'm sure you'll like this. 
yeah all right well thank you very much for watching we will see you later bye we belong dead.